The Nasara State Governor, Mr. Tanko Amakura, has reaffirmed his intention to explore the potential of the state with the sole aim of improving internally generated revenue. He reiterated this when he received the master plan of the Guruku Kabusu project to develop a 13,000 hectare piece of land that belongs to the state. It's a state that has been transformed into a slum, into a ghetto, and we felt it as a sense, as, as our responsibility to correct the things that have been done. We may not be able to ask the people to move out completely so that we can have a brand new environment. But let's see what we can do to add value to what is already existing. We have more than 13,000 hectares of land that is bordering Mpape and Asovila. And we felt as a government and in line with our dream and vision for a development platform, we should come handy in such a manner that we can reduce the stress of the federal capital. Because at this, as it is now, Abuja Metropolis is chalked to the brim. And most people willing to stay within the vicinity of the federal capital are looking other ways. And Nasarawa is the destination. Mr. Tanko Almakura, Governor Nasarawa State. Security agencies in Delta, Kwara, Katsina, and Ogun from the Nigerian Navy, the police, and the Civil Defense Corps have been tackling crime, making arrests, and uncovering illegal operations of men of the underworld in a bid to make Nigeria safe. In this report, we see how these agencies are tackling head-on crimes that are inimical to Nigeria's progress. The nation's waterways must remain safe, and the Nigerian Navy ship Delta is said to be working hard against coastal insecurity, illegal bunkering, piracy, and pipeline vandalism. Now you can see this time. So in this one, they are probably it will be sinking. Commander J.I.K. Zumve says NNS Delta is part of Operation Delta Safe, which nabbed a notorious militant wanted since 2011 for sea piracy, pipeline vandalism, and illegal bunkering. The agencies that were involved in the bombing of pipelines from uh, S. Gravos to Warren or General Area. I did say then that those who have a cell that were involved in those activities and this particular chap is one of the leaders of that group. A commander in the Nigerian Navy says NNS Delta is part of Operation Delta Safe, which nabbed a notorious militant wanted since 2011 for sea piracy, pipeline vandalism, and illegal bunkering. In the north central region, the Kwara State Command of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps have sealed a factory producing fake engine oil in Ilori, the state capital. It's been going on for years and uh, they've been going on a bit. The product is circulated in the market and this is somebody who don't have no knowledge about production of oil and Shinto production. He's not even a graduate, he's doing it. The Ogun State Police in the southwest similarly uncovered a counterfeit operation, but this time it's a shrine used by kidnappers and fraudsters in Bonkuku village, Yewa North local government area. These are part of the fake various denominations of currencies which are recovered in this Horo house, whereby it is used as a bastion and uh, a citadel of crime and criminality and uh, a receiving end for kidnapped victims as well as fraudulent practices. And in Katsina State, a formal complaint is received by the Commissioner of Police, Usman Abdullahi, from the wife of former President Musa Yaradua, Turai Yaradua, over the theft of about 90 million naira.
from their family house in Katsina. The whole keys to that house is under his custody. In fact, some of the items, the rough estimate of just some part of it is about 91 million 400, which we received a complaint, formal complaint, that is we invited him and we are investigating. As the country strives to exit recession, improve the economy, increase revenue, and attract investment from overseas, the success of these agencies will only help to achieve this objective of making the country more secure. The Ondo state government has commenced the rehabilitation of the federal highway linking Owo and Ikaria Koko in the northern axis of the state. The road which connects the state to Abuja and other parts of northern Nigeria has been in very deplorable condition and claimed many lives during road carnages. The chairman of the Ondo State Agency for Road Maintenance and Construction, engineer Kende Oshikoya, says the 46-kilometer road has about 1.5 kilometers stretch in very bad shape and needs emergency response. To say that this road uh, was uh, deplorable is putting it very mildly. It was a, a nightmare, nightmarish experience for commuters plying this road. Uh, travel time ran into several hours, and it was such that the security risk, amongst other risks that the road uh, possessed, was worrisome. And this is what led to uh, the state government having to come uh, to, the, uh, to do this emergency intervention. I think the problem on this road, like a lot of roads in Nigeria, is lack of maintenance. You know, what you had here, all the gullies and the craters, all started as small potholes. That is the time they should have been attended to. Uh, the lack of such attention is what has led uh, to what you see now, where you have so many spots that are virtually impassable. And that's why it's so important that a stitch in time saves nine. And that's where we leave it for this edition of News Across Nigeria, where north, south, east and west, we tell you what's happening across the country. I'm Olumide Macaulay from all of us here. Thanks for watching and see you next time.